Okay. 21 now. The diagram below shows a hollow, that means empty, what? You missed his face. The diagram below shows a hollow aluminium sphere of diameter 1 meter and thickness T. So the diagram is there, so it's a ball. The total mass of the sphere is 170 kilograms and the density of aluminium is 2700. Calculate the thickness. So, if you picture this, it's a ball and it's empty on the inside. Okay? So if you want the volume, it's always this. It's the volume of the outside ball minus the volume of the inside ball. It's like when we have our tanks and the tanks have a wall. If you want the volume of how much you use to make the tank, it's the outside volume minus the inside volume. So it, I believe it's in the formula book. The volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi a half cubed because the diameter is 1, so the radius is a half. We don't know the inside radius. I think that's what he's looking for, really. So I'll just call that small r. 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Now, if you think for the moment, volume, sorry, density is volume over mass. So volume is density multiply mass. Now he gives us, what does he give us? Um, he gives us the mass. He gives us the density. So basically he gives us the volume. Uh, one seven zero times two seven zero zero. Okay. And then minus four over three times pi times one over eight. Hmm, something's wrong going wrong here. On the left here, one seven zero times two seven zero zero. Ah I got four five nine zero 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 equals four over three pi or cubed minus four over three pi or cubed. Okay, well I'll multiply everything by three, divide everything by four, divide everything by pi. So I'll get one zero nine five seven eight equals one over eight minus or cubed. And my problem is my R is going to be negative, which is very bad. Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah? Is the volume V outside plus V? No, V outside minus V inside gives me the volume of what I used. It's possible that I type when I typed this question, I gave it the wrong mass. Maybe it should have been 170. I don't know if that's too small. Maybe it should have been... Or maybe it's too big. Oh, I don't know. Let me check the question. My R is coming out as negative. That's the problem.
Well, don't write the numbers down just yet because the mass might be wrong. So I need to check it. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, you don't want any of that now. All right, there we go. Wait, is that? No, that's not it. No, no, this is something different. It's just the same diagram. So it's not that one. We want the one that has the rectangly piece in it too. Nope. diagram shows a hollow aluminium sphere of diameter D of 1 meter and wall thickness T. Given that the total mass is 170 and the density is 2700 uh, have I done wrong? Maybe the area the volume. Let's see. Rho equals M over V. I did say that, didn't I? You're didn't I? Over M. No! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Why don't you correct these things when they happen? I was just writing so that uh, you. Uh, you know. M over V. <laughs> Wait, so that means volume is. mass over density. So it should be a division here. That's a better. Ah, uh, I'm tired. Right, so here should have been <coughs> 0 0.06296. Multiply 3, divide 4, divide pi, 0 0.015 minus 1 over 8 should be negative and it is and then cube root that so I got the radius is 0 0.479 so let's draw that our circle is now like this this is 0 0.5 and then for the inside circle the radius is 0 0.479 so the thickness is the difference which is 0 0.021 meters or if you want that's equal to 21 millimeters Wait, is that it? For real? Cool. All right. So that's that one done now. Now, their answer here. Believe it or not, my answer is actually a tad, a tad more accurate. And the reason for this is, the way they taught about this question, and you can see that in the diagram here. See this shape here? Yes. What they did was, they imagined that they had the sphere, okay, and they rolled it out to make a rectangle type of shape. So they said, ah, so if I take this sphere and roll it out to make a big rectangle, remember I told you that uh, one moment. To calculate the volume of this, it's the area on the bottom. Multiply the height, which is here, the thickness of the metal. Now, for a sphere, its area is, um, I think it's 4 pi r squared. 4 pi r squared t. 
and the volume you can calculate and so on. But in fact, my answer is a tiny bit more accurate than theirs because their answer, it only works if this is a straight rectangle. But when you roll out a piece of metal, the edges will be a little bit curved. So their answer is off by a tiny bit, only because their method didn't consider the fact that the edges are round. Now the way my method works is that um, this whole, you know, but actually you've seen this before. Remember when we did the tank last week? My answer was a tiny bit different to theirs because I was talking to the biology teacher on the bus about it this morning. Um, what they did was when they put the two pieces of metal together, it's like some of the metal was missing when they fused it together at the corners. I think they just did it like this. Do you get what I'm saying? So this piece here was incorrect because it's like the metal um, overlapped. Overlapped or piercing it? Piercing it, yeah. Anyways, these are all things I don't think you should worry about too much. I get the feeling in the exam when it comes to dealing with shapes, they are very, very flexible in your assumptions, in your approximations, you know? So if you wanted to say that this is a rectangle, they're actually fine with that, even though it's a little bit curved at the ends. Okay? It'll be, the top will actually be smaller than the bottom when you roll this out. Okay? Um, right, well, we'll just leave it at that. Not to worry with it.